where we're blowing up gopher tunnels today. We got some steel wool on a electrical cord. That's our detonator. Put it down in there. My gas hose behind that. Add some clods of dirt to seal the gas in. And we're gonna pull that gas out before we detonate so we don't detonate the entire line. And gas and hose, as you can see, we've blown up one gopher tunnel here before. The tunnel extends in that direction. So gas, igniter, we are running a oxypropane uh, cutting torch here without any cutting torch. This is jammed in the garden hose. I'm running my gas at 5 psi propane and oxygen at 40 psi. We're going to run this for about a minute. Let's see if we scare the chickens too much. I'm going to put a giant pumpkin over there this year so I can't have any pesky gophers eating my pumpkin. So we're filling up that tunnel. This is a system modeled after the rodinator. This is the poor man's version, it's just an oxypropane torch. So pro propane at 5 psi, oxygen at 40 psi. It looks like we are at 42 seconds on the gas. We're gonna take this clint. Tell me when I'm in a minute. All right, you got nine seconds. I wanna shut off these valves congruently so we have a... Three, two, one. So we still have an explosive mixture at our igniter. I'm gonna pull out the hose and pull it far away from our detonation point. So the hose doesn't explode. And we've got a battery charger here. We're not getting a detonation. Detonation. That's how the video goes. But we're getting a lot of amps through our igniter. We're about to fry shit. Um, okay, so why is that steel wool conducting so much electricity without burning? Maybe less steel wool is the answer. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Boomtown, baby. So this explosion didn't go as far as I hoped it would. It might have been that delay in the gas diffusion. You can see there's some smoke coming out of the ground over here. Overall, a success.